The Devil is an adversary from Cuphead that we know very well. But in the Cuphead DLC, a new foe confronts us, Chef Saltbaker. Quite literally, a baker who is, uh, made of salt, or so it seems. But this new friend turned foe is just as diabolical as the devil. So let's talk about everything we know about this strange character. And of course, if you love Cuphead breakdowns and lore, subscribe now. The last time we touched on the DLC for Cuphead, we were taking a gander at the secret boss that could be fought. Namely, the angel and demon, their connection with the devil, and their place in this crazy workings of Cuphead's afterlife. But Chef Saltbaker sort of ties into this whole ordeal as well. Quote, Oh, Miss Chalice just wants to be just as real as real can be. With the Wonder Tart, she can then take heart. It's after the bakery. Chef Saltbaker has a plan. The best tart maker in the land. If they're expedient with the ingredients, then he might just lend a hand. End quote. Chef Saltbaker inhabits the fourth Inkwell Isle, and has apparently offered to help Cuphead, Mugman, and the legendary Chalice in the quest to bring Miss Chalice back to life. A mystical confection, the Wonder Tart, seemingly has the power to grant this wish with one simple bite. The legendary Chalice herself roped the two cups into this adventure, with a bit of a bait and switch, offering the innocent Mugman a cookie that, unknown to him, will force him to switch places with the Chalice in the Astral Plane. Mugman unsuspectingly takes a bite and suddenly finds himself to be a ghost, while the legendary Chalice has taken his spot on the mortal plane. Now is Miss Chalice. Her manipulation knows no bounds apparently, as she then guides the dinnerware heroes to meet Chef Saltbaker and unveil their previously mentioned master plan. The friendly chef gives the team a list of ingredients that they need to acquire in order for him to create the life-granting pastry. Ingredients that they'll need to gather from a number of other inhabitants on the fourth Inkwell Isle. The icy sugar cubes must be taken from Mortimer Freeze. The Howling Aces hold the necessary pineapple mint leaves. The distillery dough is in the possession of the Moonshine Mob. And finally, the desert limes are under the watchful eye of Esther Winchester. The friendly chef makes sure to tell the heroes that the most important ingredient will be heart and soul. Oh, a soul, huh? What could possibly go wrong? This all seems completely okay, right? Miss Chalice may have been manipulative, but surely helping her is the right thing to do. Well, perhaps unsurprisingly, it seems our tricky lady of legend herself is being deceived. Upon obtaining all the required ingredients, the troop of protagonists return to the bakery to find the chef missing. No, wait, the bakery has a basement that they didn't know about. Upon descending into the cellar, the group discover that Salt Baker actually needed a sixth ingredient, one that he gathered himself while they were out obtaining the others. The final ingredient? A soul. In this case, either Cuphead or Miss Chalice, as we can see in the battle background. Chef Saltbaker's plan was not to give the legendary Chalice a life, but to use the power of the Wonder Tart to conquer and rule the Astral Plan itself. The heroes, of course, cannot let this stand, and a raging battle erupts. But just what could Saltbaker gain from taking control of the Astral Plane? Well, depending on the lore that you reference, a lot. The Astral Plane, in many tales, is a place that exists between all other realms. Since we looked at this multiverse before for the video on the devil, a quote from the Manual of the Planes from the Forgotten Realms of Dungeons and Dragons reads as follows. It is the space between everything. It is the road that goes everywhere. It is where you are when you aren't anywhere else. In this specific version of lore, the planes of the cosmos are laid out in a great wheel, and the astral plane serves as the dimension connecting all the material or mortal planes with the first regions of the outer planes, such as the Abyss, the Nine Hells, or even Mount Celestia, which is itself but one form of a heaven. If we apply this idea to the Cuphead universe, we can clearly see what Chef Saltbaker stands to gain through conquering the astral plane, and it's clearly in line with what we learned from the Devil. It's all about souls. Moreover, he could literally run a sort of toll road, as the souls from the living world would have to cross his domain before arriving in any sort of afterlife, be it in heaven or inkwell hell. Clearly, souls are of the utmost importance in this universe, if even just one could grant someone enough power to potentially take over the entire dimension of reality. That begs the question of just how much power did the devil himself have, and conversely, just how mighty are Cuphead and Mugman to have been able to topple him. The battle with Chef Saltbaker is a long one, and he takes on a few different forms to attack the heroes. Perhaps the most interesting of these phases involves him using a somewhat familiar looking mushroom to make himself grow larger. Clearly, this is a nod to Super Mario Bros, a game series I've spent way too long overanalyzing on my other channel Swankybox. In a game full of stylings reminiscent of the early era of animation, it's fun to see this sort of easter egg from the early era of gaming as well. 
Now, of course, Chef Saltbaker ultimately fails on his quest, as he's defeated by Cuphead, Mugman, and Miss Chalice. But before doing so, he undergoes a final transformation in battle. His outer shell cracks off as he transforms into flowing piles of salt. From his insides, multiple forms of him come to life, and giant pillars of salt shoot into the sky that are covered with his face over and over again, like a screaming river of souls that flows on and on. This is a bit strange, because it almost seems like Saltbaker himself contains many entities, and each one has its own thoughts and feelings as the faces range in emotions. Knocking out the core heart of Saltbaker starts a chain reaction that defeats all the Saltbaker faces continually as it moves up the line. It makes the Saltbaker fight seem kind of like Oogie Buggy from The Nightmare Before Christmas, but instead of being full of bugs, Saltbaker is full of salty souls. We don't know for sure if this is truly the case, but it definitely seems that way. A counter-argument would be that if he contained multiple souls though, that he wouldn't have needed an additional one from Cuphead or another character. Unless, once assimilated, those souls couldn't be further separated. So it really makes you wonder what Saltbaker is as an entity, and what his true purpose behind controlling the Astral Plane is. Was it adding more souls to himself as a container or vessel? After being defeated, the chef is taken to custody, and over time, seems to become reformed in his ways, and shows genuine remorse for the actions that he took. The real question here, unfortunately, remains shrouded in mystery. And that is whether or not Chef Saltbaker was always sinister and violent, or if a desire to create the Wonder Tart simply drove him mad. What do you think? Also, do you feel the devil had a hand in Chef Saltbaker's actions, or was he operating completely separately? Let me know. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you all soon. Cheers!